today is December 31st <laughs> and this is a channel message for the collective conscious on planet earth thank you all for listening if you have any questions please comment We open this message to you with light, love, compassion, and understanding. This is a turn of the tide for the beings of planet Earth as we move forward into the collective awakening that is this time-space reality. It is important to understand that the reality you are experiencing is the reality that you have aligned with. It is important to understand that this reality can shift as you align to new beliefs, frequencies, and understandings. Uh, if you do not enjoy, appreciate, uh, like, as you might say, the reality that you are in, it is completely in your power to shift that reality to something completely different. Uh, the reality you are experiencing is an exact reflection of the vibration that you hold. Uh, New guides, frequencies, and energies are coming to the planet at this time. Uh, it is important that you open to them. Understand that these guides may not be guides you have heard of before. They are individual to each of you at this time. These are an exact reflection of your intention and calling in onto the planet. Uh, there is going to be an influx of this energy as you open up into this year of 2020. It is un important to understand that these numbers, even though originally were created mm, unconsciously, were actually very much in alignment with the energy that is supposed to be on your planet. Uh, it is often easy for you to see that uh, things created by uh, your human collective in an unconscious way are not important or wrong. In fact, all things, because you are a collective consciousness and connected to all of consciousness, are perfectly in alignment with everything that is happening. Anything that is on your planet is in perfect divine order. It is important to understand this. Even the things that you see as being wrong or out of alignment alignment are actually in perfect alignment with what you are supposed to be experiencing for your awakening time. It is important to release that judgment. It is important to release that belief system of wrong. Nothing is wrong. All is in alignment. Now, that is not to say that some of these things aren't uncomfortable. They're, you know, they aren't mm, able to be shifted out of. They are just in alignment with the things that are perfectly for your expansion. However, it does not mean that these things cannot be released, that these things can shift out of your reality and into something new. Just because it's in alignment, just because it's in divine order does not mean it is comfortable. It is time to open your beliefs, 
past other beliefs that you have heard. Many of you will be getting intuitions that are new, that are perfectly attuned to your personal soul path and your personal energies. A lot of you are bringing uh, new energies to the planet that have never been here before or have not been here for a long time. These new beliefs could feel out of alignment with what you have learned before, but in reality, they are new alignments to what is meant to be here. There are many things that will be experienced on this planet that have not even been conceived in your collective consciousness, but only conceived further out in different realities. And also, you are on the leading edge of consciousness. There are things on this planet that are being newly created for the first time here ever, in the expansive, expansive, expansive consciousness. Uh, it is important to understand that time is relative. Time is true, but also is not. There are things that are true in certain realities and not in others, and vice versa. It is important to understand that since you are in a time-space reality, it is important to honor that and understand its purpose. It gives you time to mold. It gives you time to focus and create. It is also important to understand that you are not limited by these time spaces. So it is important to utilize the duality that is currently on your planet for your highest expansion and your highest good and your highest power. It is important to understand all the rules, not cherry pick them, but rather choosing into each of its power so that you can be your furthest, most expansive being. Time is an experience that you will be playing with as this next decade comes into focus. Time is going to seem a little more fluid, a little more abstract, and this is going to be a challenge for the beings on your planet that want to hold on to this old paradigm. But as new beings, it's important to start looking at how time can be molded to your intention, your power, your experience. You are going to be experiencing the fact that time doesn't matter in some ways, that you are going to be creating your own time, your own presence, your own reality, but that also you have the power to bend time so that it can be serving you, that you can nurture yourself and also nurture the others who are still in that time frequency. As we shift collectively on this planet and the greater collective, because we are all shifting together, you are on the forefront of consciousness, your creation is creating all, we and you, all of us together, are going to be playing with time here in this reality. You're going to understand more and more and more how time works, and we will assist you with that. We are learning from you as you explore these concepts, and you can learn from us who have gathered our own knowledge around these perspectives. All of these things we are learning together. It is important to understand that we are not separate from you. We are just a different aspect of you with different perspective. It is important to understand this. It is very easy to fall into the guru mindset when it comes to your guides and the higher councils. Rather, this is an exchange of a teacher-student aspect, whereas we learn from you as well. That is why we are here. There is always a beautiful exchange of energy. It is important to understand that we are all divinely here for our own specific purpose. We are here to teach you our perspective and you are here to grow and evolve so that we can learn from you as well. Uh, it is important to understand your own power in this. Many of you experience a feel feeling of disempowerment when you step into a guide space because this energy often makes you feel inferior. It is important that you shift out of that and understand this is a mutual exchange of information, energy, and learning. We have much gratitude that you would open up yourselves to this new learning and we are open to hearing your learning. When you have a communication with us, you can speak your intuitions and we will bring you ours. It is important to have this mutual exchange. Your perceptions are just as important and valid for our learning and vice versa. This may feel complicated to you because in your complicated, right, not right word. Um, 
may feel uh, foreign to you because your perspective, that a limited perspective, isn't as valid. The bigger the perspective, the more you see, the more valid it is. Whereas in reality, it is just as fascinating to see the cosmos as it is to come into a very close perspective like you have uh, when you look at microscopic things, like the perspective of the ant, the perspective of the bird, the perspective of the mouse. That is just as magical as of a perspective as the higher perspective. So it is important to understand that each perspective is divine and we learn from each. We are learning the whole of creation, not just the overview. So it is important to understand that your limited perspective is just as valid and important to the expand expansion of consciousness. Uh, come to each communication with every being with love. This is every being of your species, every being that is not of your species. It is important that you start understanding the value of each being on your planet, whether it is plant, mushroom, other beings such as your animals. All of these beings have wisdom. All of these beings have consciousness. All of these beings have beautiful perspectives that we can learn from all of us collectively as consciousness. Each of these beings is a part of consciousness. It would be unfair of us to treat you less because you have a different perspective or a different level of consciousness. All beings are valid and in this next decade, this will be a lesson on your planet, honoring every being on your planet, not just the ones that you personally hold dear, but rather all are honored and sacred. This includes crystal beings. This includes all different forms of consciousness. Uh, hold please. Uh, these are even the beings that you do not see, such as the elf and fairy and um, imp energies. There are a lot of other energies that share this planet with you that you do not see, but you do feel consistently as you walk in your woods, as you walk into the different land masses, you feel these different energies. Those are actually conscious energies that you can now tap into. Those, as you would call it, the veil, um, it is a perceived veil, it has never been there, but you have not allowed yourselves to see it. That is going to be shifting out because your belief systems and your understanding of things are shifting as you learn more about quantum physics and these different aspects of your planet. These different things will be opening to you. And so all of these beings are sacred and they affect your reality just as much as the physical beings you can see. It is important to understand this as you start tapping into these things. There are also beings that will be seeing these beings more. So be prepared for that. Much love we share with you on this planet. We bring you love and peace and understanding and clarity. These times do not have to be complicated as you step into owning your own power that is your creation and evolution on this planet. We are here to guide, we are here to assist you, we are not here to fix it for you. You have the ability to do this. We are just here to share in this collective evolution with you. We thank you for being open to this transmission and we lovingly bid you adieu for this current year as we step into this new energy with you. We are open to communication uh, selectively as you open to us as this year shifts. We are open to communication. We are open to guiding you. So feel free to ask us for guidance over this shift. We are here, we are open, we are here to guide you as long as you ask. We are here and ready to receive your questions and communications at this time. Also, we did ask for questions um, on this specific channel, so we will be answering those questions in the coming new year. We are very excited to connect with you, so feel free to ask any questions of us for that time as we connect to you through these video connections. So feel free to ask questions on this video or that past video. 
we are open to receiving these questions and connecting with you deeper through this, but also through your own asking and personal journeys. We are here for you now with love, with light, with clarity and consciousness. We thank you. We are.